Hi there. I thought I'd make a quick video on something that uh, I've gotten a few questions about in my email after some of you have uh, happened upon my videos. Generally, I work with images that are multi-channel fluorescence images. With those, it's relatively easy to work with them as they are previously separated channels of color that are then merged into a multicolor image. So you could have a daffy stain in blue, a uh, fluorescein stain in green, a rhodamine stain in red, uh, and those start out separate, and then a program later combines those. And because it combines those, they can be easily separated. This is very different from some more traditional light microscopy stains, where it is already a multicolor image, like shown here in this bright filled image of a Masson trichrome stain. And as such, you don't automatically have these channels separated at first to know how to separate them back out. So in order to do that separation, because let's say you're interested in maybe how dark one of the channels is, or maybe you are trying to identify certain elements or particles that you want to count separately from all the other colors, you will want to separate out the colors for whatever reason. But the usual dialogue of split channels may not work so well in this respect. Instead, for this application, I recommend using the color deconvolution function located in ImageJ. Uh, some other programs might call this spectral deconvolution, but in any case, there are various options depending on what stain you are using. So let's go to have a look real quick. We go to image, color, and then color deconvolution. Spelled color here in this case. And this drop down menu actually shows us a whole bunch of different staining vectors that are used. So we've got traditional HE stain. If you do HE with a DAB stain, so you have HE being a counter stain, and then you use DAB in order to color some sort of immunohistochemical target brown, then we have a three color situation here. Uh, we've got a few other counter stains plus DAB. We've got some other traditional stains. Basically, you have a lot of different options. You can even do some custom options in here and play around with those. In this case, again, uh, this is an image I just found quickly on the web that is allegedly a Masson trichrome stain. So we can select that so that it actually has some default values in order to figure out how it wants to dissect this. So we hit OK, give it a moment to process. And it separates this into three color combinations. And in this case, it's green, red, blue. Now, we actually see that there is a lot of interesting stuff that I decided to separate out, uh, some of which is on some layers, others of which are not in other layers. So hopefully, this will isolate certain elements that you want to count if you're doing cell counts or particle counts. Uh, there are, again, other options you can use in color deconvolution. So I do suggest playing around with it. Uh, as you need to, but hopefully this uh, quick little tip helps you. 